Hi, this is Sieg Schmalz, Applications Engineer at Microchip Technology. The PCIe standards provide various options to determine if a real-world reference clock we plan to use meets the desired specifications. For the older PCIe versions up to version 4, this involves saving many periods of the proposed clock waveform using a high-end digital oscilloscope. As the jitter requirements have gotten tighter with each successive generation, however, the noise floor of digital oscilloscopes has been adding increasingly more error relative to the overall results. In an attempt to attenuate this error, complex methods have been devised to take various calibration type measurements with the oscilloscope being used. For PCIe version 5 and beyond, the standards committee decided that because of the inherently lower noise floor of phase noise analyzers, they too should be an additional available option for measuring the jitter. There is a significant advantage to using a phase noise analyzer. There is no need for a special set of calibration measurements, and there is no need to mathematically calculate and apply adjustments to the measured results. We can simply take the data produced by a phase noise analyzer, which of course is in the frequency domain already, and pass it through the various Laplace jitter function combinations. We should note here that if there are a certain number of possible jitter transfer functions for a given PCIe version, then there are twice as many calculated maximum RMS jitter results. This is because the jitter transfer function, H jitter of S, must be applied to a reference clock with spread spectrum on, as well as to a reference clock with spread spectrum off. I'll be explaining spread spectrum clocks in the next video of this series. Next, we will look at a practical example. Let's say that you have a clock tree generator on a chip, such as the ZL30267, creating many clocks for your system. Some clocks may be for PCIe, others may not be for PCIe. Some may have spread spectrum off, others may have spread spectrum on. How do you know the PCIe clocks are compliant with the relevant PCIe jitter specifications? Well, it is our mission to make your life easier, right? So we did. Microchip provides an intuitive, easy to use tool that you can download for free to determine how well your real world reference clock meets the PCIe requirements. If you like, download it from the link in the description section below. All you need to do is to provide an output file from the oscilloscope or phase noise analyzer you are using to measure your reference clock source and the tool does the rest. You just sit back, relax, and let our tool do all the work to provide you a report that displays simple graphical pass-fail results, as well as more detailed information should it be of interest to you. Well, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you'd like more information, feel free to visit our website at this link.